All right, going off of Ava's question, so I was going through the charts of the stocks that ran today and noticed on LGV, LVGN's big snap that there was a volume retracement. I remember volume retracements were a good sign, but I couldn't remember why. Mr. Wolf, what does volume retracement exactly show you in a stock chart and why can it be good or bad? And he's got two examples here rolling out wedges and noticing the volume retracement just before this nice push up to new highs up over eight dollars so let's take a look at it lgvn we'll zoom into yesterday's action here so yesterday all morning i was in chat telling you guys lgvn i could see it running i could see it running to six 650 waiting for that boom look at the volume how much every one minute on average is pushing into this stock so i think it's safe to say on average every one minute there's about 1 million 1.5 million on average pushing into this stock now with that being said now let's look at the float on lgvn so lgvn the float on it is 2.6 million right there that's the supply so every one minute we got around 1 million 1.5 million million exploding into the stock the float is only 2.6 million i'd say on average every one minute they're rotating that float three-fourths every one minute they are rotating that supply three-fourths for those of you that can't really understand what I'm saying when I say three-fourths. Every one minute, they're rotating three-fourths of the float is what I'm trying to say. Every one minute on average. The stock market revolves around supply and demand and noticing if there's an imbalance in that. You have that supply and demand imbalance and you pay attention and watch the tape. You get that confidence. People want this stock. I'm seeing all of these consistent buy orders. Every time it runs up to resistance, volume wants it. You could get a feel for volume in the tape when stocks run up to resistance. How badly do people want it? We all know the stock market, the hard thing to determine and spot is time. The time when it a move will happen nobody knows when the move will actually happen you can see the potential of a stock you have to trust in your gut instinct and what you've seen time and time again i had the right idea on lgvn even myself i'm still learning on these parabolic movers here I'm still learning myself. Every single time I've seen these pop up, I always learn something new and take away from the last experience. And then when it pops up again, I'm better prepared to take advantage of the opportunity again because I've seen it time and time again. Sometimes there can be like a, a delay in the fuse with these moves. You can see a move setting up and setting up and you're anticipating for that big explosion but there's just a delay in the fuse like i've said but this morning here after it did make its move it did set up perfectly to the t what i was looking for every single time and this is going to answer your question ava every single time the stock pushed up and made a new high it was doing so on decreasing volume but what i was overlooking and this was a mistake that i was making i was overlooking how much volume was flowing in every one minute that much volume flowing into the stock every one minute and it's a low float stock i would say trumps when a stock makes new highs if volume's not increased as it pushes to new highs you get what I'm saying? So every single time this pushes up to a new high, it wasn't doing it on increased volume. This was the highest volume candle right here. And then it pushes up to a new high right here. 
and it did it on less volume but volume was retracing on it i made the mistake i did not or i overlooked like i said how much volume period every one minute was flowing into the stock now that i've learned from this now next time i'll be better prepared for when it happens again to the stock exploding here you got a nice volume explosion right here stock explodes up it's a nice micro pullback and just kept going and going and going way up to eight dollars a share it doubled in value from 10 o'clock pretty much to 10 25 so within 25 minutes right here the stock doubled in value from 450 up to eight dollars once you get a few of these under your belt and you fully understand and see these moves over and over, it gets easier with time. Don't cluster your chart with all these indicators because you'll overlook the price action, the volume. Volume trumps all in the stock market. Volume is king. I'm actually going to write that out. Stock market. That's what, without volume, you don't have price action. Without volume, supply and demand imbalance there's either people wanting the stock or there's people want to unload it and an imbalance that's what it all revolves around